Do we have any idea what kind of bone it is? Cool. Bone, stone, what's it? You've just braved the wind and the rain up the hill there to find a fossil with Lee Love. Now Lee Love is an amateur paleontologist, which means that he hunts down fossils in his spare time. Now Lee, how did you go about discovering that fossil? Uh, well, normally when you're finding fossils it takes a lot of time and effort. Sometimes you can go out there for five minutes and you trip over them, but um, don't always expect that that's going to be the case. Um, to minimise the amount of time it takes to find that sort of thing, you want to look in sedimentary rocks, so in cliff faces and things like that where you've got loose sediments and so you increase the likelihood that you're going to find something like that. So um, it's just a case of being in the right place at the right time, having your eyes open and often that's what you find. Um, but even when we found that, didn't know for certain what it was, I actually sent the photos um, uh, with things like that. If I find something like that, not sure, first thing that happens is I take a photo. Right. I don't extract it immediately. I've had experiences in the past, you extract and you just about get the thing out and all of a sudden you've got dust in your hand and you've got no record either. Uh, but take the photos um, and if you're not sure, you can fire them through to the museum or get them to somebody who knows a little bit more um, and ultimately take the thing out to get a good idea of what it finally is. Okay, so what did you actually find up there? So in this particular case, this bone has turned out to be one of the lower leg bones of a mower. It's called a tarsometatarsus, it's only a part of it. Uh, and it's the proximal end, which means it's the end closest to the head, I guess, uh, of that tarsometatarsus. Right, okay, so that's a mower, that's pretty exciting. So what type of fossil is that, if we look at the ones that we um, identified at the museum, the different types? That would come under a vertebrate, so you've got vertebrates and invertebrates, so the, the vertebrate side of things is your animals and such like, basically with a backbone and such like. Okay, so what other fossils could you find in this area? In this area, um, well there's a whole range of fossils I and mean, you've got um, things like corals, you've got different shells, it's bivalves, you've got snails, they're the gastropods, uh, whalebone is a very common one, uh, marine reptiles, shark, so that's both shark teeth and shark vertebra, uh, penguins is another really interesting one from the area. Um, look, really the list just goes on and on and on. Nautiloids is another one. Crabs. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, no, so I could just keep on rattling these off, but there's absolutely no shortage. Um, that mower f is pretty recent history, so probably talking thousands of years rather than millions, I would expect. Um, when you're talking about crabs, 15, 18 million years. When you start talking about um, penguins, now we're starting to head down to 55 million years. We start talking about marine reptiles and you're 65 million plus. So, and then there's oysters down at 80 million years and, and that's all in, just in this local area. And it makes one, uh, the Wiper River is recognised internationally because of the exposures opened out by the river and you can just see all this layering and all these different ages so it's just right in front of your face. It's absolutely magical. Okay, so pretty famous area for fossils here.